Oh, praise the woman. Yeah. yeah, the king is powerful, but he came from the black, or he came from the woman. Oh, hell, the woman. It sounds just like polite right here. Let's give it up for our sisters. Go ahead, I. Give me 15 again. I. Verse 15. Uh, women have born the king. Right, women have born the king. We all come from a woman. Right. You listen to, uh, if you listen to that guy Dick Gregory, he say the two most powerful forces in the universe is the black woman and the black church. All people are bugged out, man. All people are bugged out. Showing you that, man, if you, if you ain't got this word, man, you just a lost soul. So here it is, man. This guy, Dick Gregory, he's like 80. He's supposed to have all this knowledge, but yet he think the woman in the church is the two most powerful. So, so the, the black woman created all this along with the church. Oh, when we go to the spirit world, we gonna find out that the most high is a woman. Man, come on, man. You niggas are bugged out, man. You niggas are bugged out. They like can I say something? Yeah. They are they are the most two most influ powerful thing amongst not as, yeah, you know right. as amongst Jay yeah, niggas. Right. For, you know? Yeah. They praise the church and the black woman, uh Israelite. Mm-hmm. Alright. <clears throat> it's uh first answers four and fifteen. Women have bought the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them come they, and they nourish, nourish them up. They planted the vineyards from whence the wine cometh. They also make, it's like it, these also make garments for men. These bring glory unto men, and without women cannot men be. Yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver, or any other goodly thing, uh, do they not love a woman uh, which comely in favor and beauty, or which is com uh, comely in favor and beauty? And letting all those things go, do they not great gape and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? And have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any goodly thing whatsoever? And, and you know, this is true. But this is going for a worldly carnal man. Now us being spiritual men in this truth, this is our woman. This truth, this word, man. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Uh, King Solomon likened wisdom to a woman. This is the woman you're supposed to be all goo-goo-eyed over, man. You know, this is the woman you're supposed to gate and be had your eyes affixed to. But for niggas in the world, because I've been a nigga in the world. I, I, done, I done been there. I done done all that. Been, been, been awestruck by a woman, man. By her beauty. That's why the scriptures say desire not a woman for her beauty. Because she, she'll, she'll mess your little mind up, man. A woman yeah, yeah. will fuck you up. You know, like like uh, Too Short said on one of his songs, had you looking like an old banana peel in the dirt. But she had you looking worse than that. All sad continents, man, you know. And this is why they get so much praise here, man. But what's so bad about it, the women don't even do what it's taught. It, it, it mentioned them making garments and then this and that, man. They don't even do that no more, man. They just feel entitled that we should worship them. They entitled to that. They don't have to cook. They don't have to clean. Yeah. They don't have to sew garments. We, we should just want to take them out yeah. and spend our money freely. And the brothers that went into that in the history, man, they brought out a beautiful history of why the, the prophet Isaiah was so pissed because the woman was out of order Men wasn't checking they women, and, and Israel had grown corrupt 
because they was basically like the scripture said, gathering wealth by means of wickedness to appease these, their daughters and wives, which is what you see go on in Babylon. Yep. And then and, and Isaiah sitting back looking at this and he pissed like, nigga, check your bitch. Yep. This bitch is out of order, man. Look at this shit. He was just like we are right now today, man. Yeah. That's how he was he was he was pissed. That's what caused him to write the third chapter. And nowadays nobody pissed but the, the men of Great Millstone, beginning with our elders. Nate, Nate, you 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 just uh you 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 just in, in La La Land over the black woman. You ain't gonna say nothing negative about the black woman. You know? That's another way Jake lose their life, man, because they be so caught up behind their woman. They be crazy, going crazy behind them, all in the phone, checking their every move and shit, and fuck around, not knowing you sleeping in the house with a hoe. And then, shit, you thinking, oh, oh she, some dude won't quit messing with her, not knowing he give, she giving him play, and you go chasing after the nigga, you lose your life, man. Right, Tripping yeah. behind this damn woman, man. Then that's what did you find this scripture? I had uh something else, man, it was only heavy, man. But okay, well hang on. Okay. Hang on to I it. I couldn't uh, I know I know what you're talking about. Right. This is this is a rule bill speaking. I don't know you yeah. yeah, but he didn't make the initial statement. He was he was agreeing because the Ruby Bell would agree that yeah the king is strong and yes the woman is strong. And that's why I want to bring this out. But but you know, I'ma just let the scripture play out, you know. Right. Yeah, it's it's like uh, uh, well you want twenty or twenty. Where you live out? He said twenty. Give me Give me nineteen. Right. All right. First Edris four and nineteen. And letting all those things go, do they not gate? And even with open mouth. Oh, oh, 18. I'm sorry, I, All 18. Right. All right. First Edward 4 and 18. Yeah. And if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other goodly thing, do they not love, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and in and, and beauty? Right, what you niggas do, man? You risk your life and go out and sell dope, man to appeal to a woman because you want to come off as being that nigga you want to have the juice so to speak you know y'all do that man has it your life behind these no nothing ass women man and these women let you your mama let you your mama don't say look I didn't bring you up this way you know and I'm not gonna have you doing that no you, I done seen Jake, I done seen, I got kinfolk that did it. They shoot, shoot they T-Jones, they mama some money, and she know it's dope money, and she gonna take it. Con. Right. Y'all done seen it. Right. Con. You know? And they don't, but, but, in, in, in good times, she's portrayed as the moral head of the house. It's goddamn right. You know? Yeah, brother, I'm positive. This is Ruby Bell the third. He's saying the woman and the truth is the strongest. He's saying the woman is the strongest, but the truth overall. But the truth. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm just That's want to be on point. Con. See, you say the third wrote, women are the strongest, but above all things, the truth bear. Uh, oh, we right. You get because the wine. Right. First was the wine, and then the second was the second. Was the second. Yeah, that's right. Come, come. That's right, bro. So, so, right. Salak so Israel, the the first, the first person. He said that wine is strong. That's right. And then the second made his statement. He said that no, the king is strong. Right. And it's the Ruby Bell. He's saying that that women. And that this is why I want to get this. He said women. But then he gonna say, but above all, the truth. You know. Right. But yeah, we, we just gonna let it play out. Come on. All right. <clears throat> uh, I go back to verse 18. Uh, you can go ahead on. Right. Verse 19. 
19. And letting all those things go, do they not gape? And even with open mouth, fix their eyes fast on her? And have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any goodly thing whatsoever? Yeah, because a good, a righteous woman, man, just like the scriptures say, will fatten your bones, man. You know, if, if you got it right, if you're dealing with a righteous woman, which we not gonna have that on this side. So understand that, but right. A righteous woman, man, she, she fattens your bones, chill your continence, man. You know? But a, a wicked woman is like a, a troublesome stone, man. Just a burden on you, man. But yeah, I Now I was gonna say, now you might have been dealing with one of them other camps and because a man got either rank or a certain man brother speaking, and he say something, you just roll with it, but we correct each other in uh in GMS. Come. And there ain't don't be no major stuff, you know. But I'm just bringing out the point that man, brothers in GMS keep it real, man. You know? And just what That's you're right supposed though, to bro. do. Now if Nate was up there speaking and there one of them young cats would have said, Dog, are you going up? <laughs> 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 they wouldn't even dare do it. <laughs> you would have got kicked out probably. <laughs> Come. Excuse me. Yo, anyway. con, the con, bro. <laughs> you can't speak up against the great Nathaniel. His words are golden, man. That's oh, wicked, no, you man. Got Talking about being move. meek and humble, man. Make point. You a proud nigga, man. Con. All right. All right, verse 20. A man leaveth his own father that brought him up and his own country and cleave it unto his wife. He stick it not, he stick it not to spend his life with his wife and remember neither father nor mother nor country. By this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor to, and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yeah, right. You witness, you witness that all the time, man. Especially with Jake in the world, man. Two thirds, simple, simple as these niggas are. Hey, that wife can be at home fucking up a storm, man. Right. I mean, just fucking up a storm. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, literally, you come home the house, I'll tow up. Come. And then, and then, you know, she tell you, oh well, I didn't have time to clean up. I was ripping and running. And, and food ain't cooked, ain't nothing done, and then you still sit there and, and take care of this bitch. You know? Yep. Just giving all, go to work all day, and bust your ass, man. Yeah, giving an engagement ring, they can right. give her all kind of goodies, and she don't do nothing to deserve it. Hey, man, I literally, I had a, I was at a little bar one night, and uh, shit, this chick fucking approached me. And I was the first thing I asked her, I said, man, where your husband at? She said, oh, he at work. I said, man, you wicked as hell and shit. I said, I don't want nothing to do with you. And she was like, oh, she, this bitch followed me around the rest of the night. Steady like, man, oh, we can be demon. friends. We can be friends. That I'm like, hell no. Nah. I'm like, I ain't fucking with you. I said, your man probably up there breaking his fucking back thinking you Come. at home. And you out right now trying to give your pussy away, man. Now, give his if, pussy away. If you was in the world, she would have turned her nose up at you. But since you was in the truth, a demon got on her to try to get you to go off. Huh. You know? Yeah, this, so, hey, and that's why I'm bringing this out, man, because if you think a woman don't have power, man, you out your mind, man. You cannot underestimate a woman. And that's, and that's why I'm going into this, but right. your, your, your old supervisor, George, man, they say he was, you know, he was bugged out his mind. And he, he put his, his ex, his, bitch he used to fuck with, man. He, he put her through nursing school. She got a little certificate and then skied up on it. And then he, he spun some bread putting this bitch through school. Oh, boy, and, mama. Oh, George, the supervisor. Yeah, I know, but uh, remember the other cat, that's his mama that he was fucking with. Oh, okay. The little mechanic. Oh, I didn't know that, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she skied up on him and he was all fucked up, you know. Her whole spirit was fucked up. But then he got, you know, he got him a little Filipino chick, and then it, it fattened his bones, man. He, yeah. <laughs> he started coming to work happy, man, you know. 
And uh, you know, the guy uh, Joel was telling me about it. You know, he said he was he was used to come to work, man, and his whole continence was sad. Now, now you see him, man. He, he be cracking jokes. He always he, he always happy, man. Cause shit. Hey, niggas, Hey, King Solomon had bad, the, probably the baddest women on the face of the planet in history. And, and, and that's a, that's an example on this story. I mean, on this account that the brother going into about the power of a woman. You know, he he, he they was beautiful. They had they smelled good. Now I mean, he hinging on the. The other flip side of a, a sorry ass woman, they even got power in this kingdom. But I was just making the point that King Solomon showed you that. That's one example. I mean, that he built houses for his wives. You know, he probably had them decked in, you know, the nice apparel and righteous, where maybe starting off his wives and, you know, but anyway, I didn't want to go all into it, but that's just an example. No, but that's you beautiful know? because he, he went off behind what? Yeah. His women. Yeah. So it just it backs up the story that they do have a power, man. Right. And that's why this ain't the time. Just like Paul Ooh. said, I would rather that you be like me, mm. meaning single in this truth. But he said if you marry, it's no sin. It's better to marry than to burn. But Paul said it's, it's better to be like me because he know the power of a woman, man. And yeah. it's just a simplified, that's talking about giving yeah. you a piece of box, man. That's Not why I'm talking about getting no <laughs> ring and going and having a marriage, man. Well, go, go ahead. All right. This is the uh, first Edwards 422. By this also you must know that women have dominion over you, that ye do not labor and toil. I'm sorry. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? And this is a carnal-minded, fleshly man. You know, uh, when you in the spirit, a woman ain't gonna have dominion no more. Right. You know, but go ahead, I. Yeah. Well, hey. this woman, <laughs> right. you know, we, we in under yeah. dominion to the truth, man. Yeah. Calm. Yeah, a man taking his sword and going his way to rob and to steal. See, <laughs> calm. Yeah. yeah. But a man to go to any extremity behind that woman, Jake do it today. Because if, if the woman gonna be at the house running a damn mouth, ah oh, nigga, we gotta feed the kids and I'm tired of living like this, and then Jake go out and he <coughs> go, go commit a robbery and then he gonna get locked up. Mm -hmm. Because he trying to impress, impress yeah. and please the woman, the black woman mainly. Man, you see it all the time, man. Go ahead, brother. Hey, just real quick, cause growing <laughs> up, man, you grow up, majority of us grew up in the hood like, and I, uh, anybody can attest to it, man. That's who get get uh, the the females in the, in the hood, man. It ain't no it ain't no secret who's selling dope or who who uh, kicking in those, who robbing who. Them females know who's doing that. Knows that's who they go after, cause they see them getting the money, they they getting the jewels, the clothes. But then they get them same dude, get the woman. They got the woman got power over them. They buying all this expensive stuff. Or cheaps, whatever they they spend, they buying all this food, they riding around, treating her like a queen. And again, because she's miserable and self-centered, she's selfish, narcissist. Everything uh, must be about her. Her. Even in, when she talks, she, she it's about her. Hey, like if you watch that uh, what's that that story about them cats that it was the sold big dope as youngsters? They got the movie on it. They paid driving. in full. Yeah, paid oh. in full. Them put them cat's name. Camera, uh, uh, so the actual guys. Anyway, it's a documentary on that. Uh, yeah, what's them motherfuckers' name? I can't think of them, but I know them brothers up there in New York probably know, cause they from the East Coast and shit. Ace, Ace, uh, and them cats. And, and if you watch the movie, but they got an actual documentary on it. One of them still living with a bullet in his head and. His sister was doing a lot of the documentary, and her, the, the whole moral after that whole documentary was about, she was saying, you women, it ain't worth it. Don't be chasing after no man. Be for self. It's all about self. Mm -hmm. Be about you, you know? And I don't like the message of the documentary. I thought it was supposed yeah. to be about two niggas and the life they live, but Damn. she made yeah. it out to be about, you know, women. 
be for self. It's all about self. Fuck these niggas. Gone. Just to back up your point you were saying, going Gone. in. Like, all right. I'm going to read that verse again. Go ahead, doc. Right? Uh, sec- First <clears throat> Edwards chapter 4, verse 23. Yeah, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sell up the sea and upon the rivers, and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. And when he has stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Yeah. A woman will give a nigga courage, boy. You know, <laughs> and then, uh, you'll fight motherfuckers you wouldn't normally fight. Like, you'll do shit you wouldn't not Right. <laughs> a nigga get some strange kind of courage when, when it comes to a woman. Yeah. You know? I've seen it. To impress. impress. Right. Or oh, it yeah. might not even really have it. might be that false courage. I got to look Con, good that's in what front I'm of saying. Yeah, right. okay, yeah. Okay. Con. Right. Go ahead. All right. Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. <coughs> and the scripture say, uh, 